to show you guys some of the knife jigs that I have. I have two that I've built so far. Uh, this was the first one that I built and I used it to make this knife. So I mean you can tell from the from the nice clean lines and, and the bevels and everything that it, it did a good job. Uh, it's just kind of bulky and so I built another one uh, that's less bulky so I can compare the two to see which one I like better. Uh, anyways you can see I've got two hinges here in line and then I've used these turnbuckles for my adjustment on my on my pitch in and out. I can turn those and adjust my adjust my angles up and down. Uh, actually quite a bit more than, than I even need to. You only need about this much movement to get your bevels. And then on the front to hold the knife, I, I don't like messing with clamps, especially when I'm trying to grind something on the belt sander. So what I did is I've got a tool holding magnet right here. Um, it's two steel bars, stainless steel bars, and on the inside there's a magnet here, here, and here underneath this tape. Um, so three magnets are about two inches long, but I mean that thing will hold That thing will hold quite well. I mean it holds its own weight and then some and, uh, it Worked out great. I mean it really is a good really is a good jig <clears throat> It just takes up a lot of space. So let me turn that here where you can see So I've got a shelf right here that the the backbone or the spine of the knife sits on as it's clamped to the magnet. That helps keep things in place too. And there's what it looks like from underneath. So it's probably probably a little more complicated than it needed to be, but it was my first one and I had to start somewhere. So anyways. Um, so that was number one. That was my first jig. And then I'll show you the one that I just built. I think I'm going to like it a little better. So <clears throat> it's all oak. And this was rough cut oak that I just belt sanded down to make it smooth. Uh, you can see all the magnets. What I did is I took my Forstner bit and drilled down into this because the Forstner bit makes nice clean holes. Um, epoxied all these ceramic magnets in and now it does the same thing as that tool magnet and I've got the shelf that it sits on see that there we go so I've got this shelf that the tool will set on it holds it in there really well and what I have it's two blocks and my adjustment is just this bolt in the back. And you can see the gap here and there's no gap here and that's the that's the angle adjustment and I can <clears throat> if I need more angle I can loosen these screws just a little bit because they're what's holding the front of this block down but uh, so far I haven't needed to adjust it at all. I mean that's that, that amount of angle has been great so um, let me get you some dimensions on that real quick. Like I said, this was rough cut lumber. Uh, so they're a little over an inch. They're a little over an inch thick. They're inch and an eighth, actually. Um, my bottom block is two and an eighth wide. Top block is inch and three quarter wide. So there's about quarter to three eighths of an inch of a shelf right here. And this 5 16 bolt, I have a nut recessed in the bottom of the top piece. Let me take this apart real quick and I'll show you that. Okay, so that's all that's working that mechanism. I have the, the nut recessed into the top block. and that's my adjustment <clears throat> and it's screwing directly onto this bottom block and that's what's giving me my pitch for the bevel angle so 
put that back together and uh, but anyways I really like that just a couple ideas if you're gonna make if you're gonna make your own knife jigs uh, knife bevel jigs grinding jigs whatever you want to call them if you're gonna make your own there's a couple different ideas belt on and I'm gonna do a quick bevel grind with this jig just to show you how it works get my angle set so it looks pretty good right there. Okay, so that's just a few passes on a 60 grit, and you can see see how the angle works on the bevel, but it holds that holds that piece in there nice and sturdy. Um, so, anyways, I like that jig. If you like it, make one like it or make one better.